on the second day of Anchorage 13 and we have motored away in our dinghy from Moonflight and the others and are exploring some of the eastern shore. Oh, Don did a little hiking up there. Found a coconut. Not much beach here. We thought we'd, we'd explore the shoreline and uh, see if over, let's see, I think it'll be further down. You can see the beach is gone. And it's just lava right up to the end. But we might even try to go see if we can find the abandoned citrus orchard. Now he's trying to find something to open the coconut up with. No kids, just the two of us. Pretty rough. I've been collecting a few more shells. Come around by this other path. Check it out. On November 11th, in the village of Hunga, and we've hiked up this big hill. We've attended a church with Vaha and his family and went to a meal prepared by his family of creamed corned beef, creamed fish with coconut milk wrapped in taro leaves. Oh, it's blowing in my face. Tongan cotton here. Also known as kipak. Kipak. Here's the tree from which it comes. And we ate in a beautiful woven mat on the floor with all our things and, and they will eat after we left. I hope they're eating now because they had to wait a long time. <laughs> and here's some children that are just watching us right now. Say hello. I'll have to zoom in on them, huh? Maybe we should have done this. Family. And here's where our dinghy is. They're loading yams in. And, uh, one of these boats is Vahaz. It will come in with some epoxy and check out. We hiked up this massive hill to the village. That is a ficus tree. Can you believe it? Very, very warm day today after our rain last night and this morning. And there's our anchorage. Well, after our lovely time in the village and our meal, we scooted the dinghy over to this little white sand area. And there is Moonflight out beyond in that anchorage. The boys are staying home. And we're just checking it out on our way in. Boy, we saw the manta ray, um, beautiful manta ray just swimming around in these shallows here. And at low tide, well, you see all this is exposed. Well, it's the end of the day and the kids, Dominic, Stefan, and Madeline are over at this little island here, right in front of where we're anchored. See the secret? And they're exploring. And I'm sure they're getting hungry by now. It's about 7.30. We're making Play-Doh to give away to our Tongan friends that are coming for a meal here on the boat. Let's see, oatmeal, raisin, walnut cookies. Here they all are, and Colin and Aiden are in there too. What are they doing? So now Colin and Aiden are left at the island. <laughs> Good night, you guys. 13. Bound for Niafu if we make it tonight. Caught a little tuna on the way out of Anchorage 13. Little skipjack. You can tell by this this blue and black stripe pattern there. Oh, it is. And he has a yeah. A skipjack. Yum. All right. It's uh, November 13th. It's Tuesday. On 11:14, and here's a single-hander that we've met. His I don't know his last name, but Chris on Deserata. And he's going to be uh, fueling up. And there's Don down there. Seeing if he's going to need any help. Chris bought his boat um, as a um, uh, hull and then he finished it himself. And uh, you got Anna's Cafe down here. And the Mermaid, where we were able to do a little teeny bit of a quick email. 
All right, guys. Let's start our walk. And here is, isn't that the uh, Catholic church, I believe? And here's the pig crossing. Here we go, sweet your little babies, mama. Pigs are everywhere. Coming into Niafu, the village of Niafu. A typical walk for us to the village. Here we're at the market with our, all of our watermelons and all of our lovely watermelons and our cabbage. And as we walk into the wharf, the church up here where we were. Here we are at Mermaids and this is Max. Dad's patient. Dad's first patient of the trip. I think he fractured his leg. Yeah. And now it's better. Oh, he says, oh, he's definitely Hey, you. Hey. Okay, and leaving the dock. Aiden and Colin and Anne and kids out there. We're going to head out to Anchorage 13 and we'll meet them tomorrow. And the gang. Huh? And here we are at the mermaid. Ah, oh, the rest of the food. Smile, some sunshine down my way. Lately, I've been lonesome. Blossom, it's been much too long a day. Seems my dreams have frozen, held my cares away. Send the sunshine down my way. Beautiful. You see any whales anywhere? In the depths? Okay, backwards. Okay, on the count of three. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Spectacular. Uh, in front of Swallow's Cave. Uh, in there a little way. Oh, there's someone else going down. Three, two, one, go! Get in. There they go. Swallow's Cave. I don't know if we can see Mr. Calf over here or not. But it's not every day you see a cow on a white sand beach. Here we are, back in beautiful Anchorage 7. And as the boys went diving today, uh, Madeline and I got to go snorkeling. This beautiful, solitary spot. It is so beautiful. And we take off tonight for the Hapai group, which is supposed to be pretty spectacular as well. Hapai group. We are at a very, very calm place. We have uh, had to motor for many hours just to kind of give you an idea. Where are we at? 50 feet? Yeah. And it's just pretty pretty clear here. Yeah, we're sitting here watching these squid by our anchor chain. Well, we have November 17. Celebrated Colin's birthday last night on the beach. We are leaving our first anchorage in the Ha'apai group on Ha'ano Island. And uh, we're gonna skip ahead of Cayenne and Desirata and Alaka and we'll meet them at a new anchorage. So we'll go beyond to the third island here, which is Foa. And will it be the fourth island? Yeah. The fourth island we're going down to. So we stay out of ways from the reefy shoreline. 
and come back in and we'll have to be on coral watch and the lighting is good and uh, what is our speed captain uh, four and a half knots four and a half knots dominic is on watch here for coral heads he's getting his little uh, area set up here and he's got a little shift here that he'll be eyeballing the waters for turquoise color and then as we get closer to shore we'll of course be standing up and in all different positions watching out for those coral heads say hi to everybody back home hi wish you were here on our other side here's a volcano um Actually, it's an active island that uh, Kayan really wanted to go up to hike and uh, I think we've basically opted not to do it. And uh, we're, we've been using CMAP on the computer so that's up and running downstairs and we go up and down and we have these real sketches of a chart that help us a little bit with uh, getting in closer but we like to detail the CMAP since we weren't prepared to come south. So I think it's a little nerve-wracking at times and all the adults from all the boats got together today and brainstormed some routes. Here's Stefan, he's doing, uh, what's your homework, world history? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty serious right now. And he's uh, working on a test right now. And Madeline? What's Madeline doing down there? Are you done? Are you singing too much? She's into Christmas carols right now. She's making sure we're all pumped up for Christmas. Here we are still in the Ha'apai group of Tonga. And this is how we finish off uh, an evening at times. We either barbecue in the beach or we uh, eat on board. And you can see here as it's getting dusk, that uh, crew of Moon Flight is rowing into shore. See how close I can get. Rowing in because in shore, as you will see, there will be a fire going. So it's a lot of fun. And the beaches, you can see how beautiful it is. And there is um, KN. And we have uh, Desirata and Ilaka over here. Well, we've left Utule and uh, we're making it through Ua, Ua, Eva. Ua Leva for the hundredth time there. So, uh, as we're uh, coming out uh, this pass here, we are witnessing some spinner dolphins, so we're hoping we can get a better look here. I don't get zapped by the jib sheet. Oh, they were so great. Here we are making our approach to the last island that we will visit in the Pa'apai group. Actually, there's two different islands. Uh, there's the, the larger called Nomuku. That's the one we're just skirting by right now. And then there's a smaller one called Nomuku Iki, which is Little Nomuku. And this is the one we will, we will come up this passage here between the islands and then tuck around the reef that's uh, over to the left of us here and then uh, do our anchorage there. Hello, everybody. Hello. We're, we're celebrating our uh, Thanksgiving now, and uh, we're a day late, according to our time, but on time, according to back home. Dominic, say hi. What? Tongan Tours, Happy Government. Gosh, it seems so dark down there. Yeah, I have to get a picture up here. Nice, oh, there's Amy. Oh, my God, there she is. I've been in a cave. They yeah, wouldn't let me out. Oh, God. Just about that far. I was beginning to think Dawn had thrown you overboard. I just wasn't telling you. No. Well, the sailors. Fired. Exhausted. He's kind of a good yeah, guy. Yeah, I just did, did, did you know, 182 from there and then. Well, as soon as I started to challenge her, I got a 16 Lynn's head, <laughs> over here. Right here. Right here. Here's everybody's boat out here. Yeah, that's where we are tonight. We have to really come into our anchorage.
fish. And this is how Thanksgiving ends. <laughs> Couldn't quite make it to bed. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Remember what happens when you tickle it. We had 15 people for dinner. Did I mention that? Although I, I kind of got, almost got everybody in the film tonight. I had uh, Cavill and Nikki and Lynn's head and Gordon and uh, Chris and the five of us. So there's five, all the kids from KM. And yeah, you can just say all the crazy hoodlums. Yeah. The gang from KM, the gang from Milaka, there was four. The gang from Moonflight, there was five. Chris from Deserata, so we had 15. And we're in front of this wreckage. That's where Gorgeous, gorgeous beach, gorgeous. This was a, a prison on this island, uh, which is no longer, but uh, Don and I snorkeled in, which is awesome. And we're gonna come and uh, check out the beach. Madeline! Oh my gosh. And from the beach, my time has been wasted, maybe so, but surely not forgotten. Well, we got our papaya stash there. We're walking around this whole island here, folks. This whole island. Perched up on that piece of wood. Here on the south side. group, we're on our way to Nukalofa. Stefan's working on a school here. Lock us out here. Let's see, in Cayenne, gorgeous, gorgeous passage today. Let's see, we have Cayenne way out there. Desiderata. That's for sure, look at that. That's beautiful. And how many fishing poles do we have out? Three? Two poles and uh, one hand line. The Tongan Cultural Center in Nukalofa. We are walking. beside the King's Palace and it looks like uh, maybe police or military training ground and they're uh, doing some kickboxing. And a little bit better vantage point of the Royal Palace. It is today, 28th, 29th of November. This is uh, not too far away from where we're moored. It's like the outrigger piece that we saw in uh, the museum yesterday. 
and we're moored. All of us are over here on the quay. And this is our walk, walk back to the boat, which we usually taxi ride it. And here's where we are. Goes down quite a ways. Back home we go. Collect our ride. And our day and a really wild sunset with that incredible cloud and jeez. It is wild. And I have to show you before I bag up these shells is uh, my shell collection here. Dawn chatting uh, to Campbell on the radio about if we're departing or not. Here's the team workers here. Clean it up. There's a dishwasher and we have a dish put away. -er. Dominic's going to be 13 soon, less than a month. Last day of November. And we left Nukalofa about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, with today being about 150 miles left, currently about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, to North Minerva Reef. And we left with Chris on Deserata. He is out here, and this just kind of shows you the perspective of uh, being at sea and trying to oh, hold still and get a feel for the sea state and um, how you can see and oh, jeez, see his boat and not see his boat. And by this time tomorrow, we should be at anchor. We're not too anxious, though, if it's not real sunny and uh, great visibility because, uh, but it is pretty magnificent to think about stopping at a reef that low tide you can see the reef, high tide you can't see the reef. Approaching Minerva Reef. Seated at the bit of a boat tide. Out in the middle Pacific, here's a reef. going through the pass. Look at that reef. This is so amazing. High tide, there's no exposed land. Low tide. Oh yeah, high tide, no exposed land. This is low right now. So this is all covered by the ocean. 88 feet of water right now in the Pacific Ocean. Well, here we are. Silver Fin is here. Uh, Desiderata is behind us by about two hours. Hey, Andy Laka. And a new dog for Minerva Reef. Here are three beautiful fish that we got today. Uh, the top one, the red one, is a bass grouper. And uh, I'm not sure what the other two are, but uh, they're supposed to be very good. And uh, Stefan just went out with uh, Franco. Franco. Yeah, Franco got the two bottom fish, and uh, Campbell or David got the top fish for us, and so they should be good. Mom has been in the making and bacon mood this morning, and all day, I guess, and she made three loaves of bread, and six loaves of bread, and lots and lots of granola. Now she's going to take all of it to the people around the Anchorage. There's five, not including us. So, that'll be good. And that's it. And we leave Minerva Reef. Zitarada, right there we go. Got a little bit of snorkeling in. Come behind, back into the wind, and we'll put up the main. All right, guys, be ready. This is a call from the flight to the Minerva fleet. So long, farewell, and good voyages to you all. We had tea last night, then we had 
Mora, und so weiter. In the morning, uh, not quite eight o'clock. We cross the international date line. I'm gonna just put the pole back out. And he's, uh, we've slowed the boat down here. We're trying to get it down to about two knots if we can. Don is readying the net. And Dominic's gonna bring us in a, some supper, some dinner. There's Madeline. Good morning. And we are so excited. And uh, one of our biggest problems is that we all run out to the deck and we leave the boat alone, just cruising it, you know, eight knots or whatever. So the important part is uh, now we're slowing the boat down so we can all take turns. And Chris on Desiderata was talking about a good way to, to uh, have a fish shift and what you do. So we'll see, you can kind of see him coming out here. I'm gonna try to tuck him out. Just let him wear out. Wear him out. Come on, Nika. I hope I'm getting good shots here of this guy. So colorful, they're magnificent when they're in the water. Oh, I must have get it. Oh man, he's huge. Oh, this is the biggest one yet, you guys. There she is, John re-rigged the lures on there and boy, oh boy. Oh man, awesome! Did I get a ceiling again? Yeah, of course. Uh, 195. Oh man. Inches? 50 inches. Woo! Okay. What a day, what a day. Out on the high seas. And we've got another mahi on the line. And there were a couple other swimming here. You guys, it's her mate. Maybe we should let her go. Should let it go? No. It's her mate. Oh, God. Keep tension on the line. Oh, there was a couple others in here somewhere, I think. Need a hammer, Stefan. Beautiful. Well, it's been Dominic's shift, and once again, here's another fish. So, Dominic, tell us the story again. You're clipping your fingernails. You're at the helm. You're on watch. About the last uh, 20 minutes of your shift. And I hear it click a little bit, like it usually does. And then I just think it's just doing its thing, and then it goes totally out. So and starts squealing. Fish procedure. Fish! You didn't do the fish procedure. I had to turn it in the way. Isn't that the second person that comes up? Well, you start it. You start turning the fish, or turning the fish, turning the wheel, I think. So the next guy comes up, relieves you, you go out and get the fish. Say goodnight on this December 6th, on our way to New Zealand. How many more miles to run? 400 and... 436. 426. And there was three additional mahi when we... Oh, yeah. Boat. I don't know if I got those under film. Three more swimming beside her. We did catch another female. I hope she wasn't full of eggs like the last one. She wasn't. Huh? She wasn't. Full of squid, but not eggs. Yeah. December 7. Oh, yep, see it over there? With it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right yeah there. over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Oh, they're, they're male and female. This is the female. You had the male, Don. Yeah, I think no.
Well, tell us how it's been, Madeline. Every single day, they are so big and so heavy that we can't give the pole to Madeline or anything yet. But maybe if we get a hit on the hand line, we can try it again, huh? Well, did we tell you she was, um, this is the female. She was a smaller, even though she is a biggie. She must be 48 inches. And I, and I really do believe we did have a couple here. One struck on one side of the boat and the other on, on another side. And, and um, I don't know, 48 inches long. My gosh, three days in a row. Here we go. Our freezer is going to be full. I think for Christmas, we'll have mahi steaks to give out to cruisers and friends that we meet. So pretty amazing. We're just totally, totally amazed. Well, there's some shark food. Here is the lure. Our first one we ended up losing. How about if we just and, cut it into uh, four we're doing seconds, okay. Just the way it is. Gonna do that? December 7th, and after a hard day of catching fish, all that mahi mahi, and packaging it, vacuum sealing it for the freezer, it's now time to frost those cupcakes. Hey. So, yeah. Here, let's get a few knives out. And uh, you can see in the background here, we have our uh, <coughs> advent calendar out, marking the days of Christmas so carefully. Sorry, it's a little shaky grounds here in Green Passage. So we're flying the spinnaker, and um, we'll be taking that down before nightfall, so in about another half hour, 45 minutes. And uh, music is blaring. Oh, there's a little scent up here. Easily he moves lightning fast. Pops, pops over. <laughs> That's cute. Show me your cupcake now. <laughs> Delicious. That's going to be his extra special thick. Oh, you're eating it now. Show us the sprinkles. All right. A little extra dose there. All right. Well. There you go. Pretty delicious stuff. We're using uh, vanilla frosting and uh, yellow cake. I'm going to have mine right now and I'm going to have mine and my watch. Ooh. Did Dad and I get any? Yes. No, nope, oh, you don't get any. See? Mommy oh my gosh, two. we all get two. And then we have chocolate chip raisin oatmeal cookies. Yep. Anybody who wants to crew wants to crew on Moon Flight. And we've got a tuna! Da, 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 da. Who caught that one? I caught it. Who? What's your name? Madeline. Oh. Hey! These Run guys. In all by herself. These guys aren't as wild as the Mahi, so it was perfect timing for Madeline to bring this guy or a girl in, you don't know yet. And let's see, we don't know what kind of tuna yet it is. Oh, she's got the stripes, so... Skip Jack? And they make good food, good eating. It is darn cold out here. Well, we're on our last uh, 60 miles. Woo, I better get in before I get wet. That's all for now. Okay, here it is, December 9th. Sunday afternoon and we are just completing our probably what was our third longest passage uh, the passage between Tonga Tapu actually we uh, stopped in a reef area north Minerva uh, in between and then uh, had a approximately 800 mile passage from North Minerva to the North Island of New Zealand which is uh, straight ahead of us there. So we're motor sailing, so we can get into this, uh, what's dead ahead of us there is called the Bay of Islands. That's where the port of entry, Opua, is located. And we want to make sure that we get in there before dark. New Zealand, the North Island, from about uh, 12 miles out. Provided some good fishing this morning. Caught two tuna, one little skipjack that was maybe about a five pounder four or five pounds and then uh, caught a larger not huge but about uh, 
maybe 16 to 18 pound, uh, either a big eye or a long fin tuna. I'm not sure which. Here, Stefan has uh, one of the lures that uh, we were using, and uh, this was not what we caught one of those fish on, but uh, we've caught some, we've caught mahi mahi on it, and. Uh, we uh, pulled it up uh, yesterday afternoon because we were in some heavy weather and uh, it was bitten through and uh, scarified in many places. It uh, was quite quite attractive to those mahi-mahi out there. Well, for the third time today, third time, we're uh, bringing a fish in. I'm sorry, my love. Mama is bringing in the hand line. So that it's out of the way here. And then uh, Dominic's bringing in fish. Well, we lost that one the same way we lost the big mahi mahi. So uh, we're setting this stuff out again, hopefully. Maybe we'll catch another one. If we do, we'll have, uh, we will have doubled our entire trip fishing record in this one passage. Pretty cool. Four and a half miles to go. To uh, take the week. No fishing right here, but we are getting close. We wanted to get a little footage coming into um, Bay of Islands. And we're going to be going to Opua's Wharf. Current customs and uh, there's our flag. We've got our quarantine flag line and Zealand flag. We had that made in Niafu. Tonga. That's a Norwegian flag. That is Surinam. So I'm like, where are your arms? We've arrived in New Zealand and the customs took his arms. We didn't tell the truth, so they had to amputate him here. So no more arms. Wow. Well, we passed with flying Isn't colors, and now we're Norwegian. anchoring out because there wasn't flag. room at That's the docks right now, and Surinam. the sun is setting. And here we are in Wapu, and it is just... Oh, I'm sorry, Opua. Wapu. <laughs> the evening of December 10, and today we made it all the way across the bay to the village of Opua and never even left. It was so overwhelming. And we got to make a lot of phone calls, um, Millie and Peggy and Mike and um, Grandma Cease and Auntie Carlin family and Auntie Bev was at Grandma Cease's and oh boy it was so fun and that was our day. Met a few other cruisers and for the first time we've heard their names on the on the net. A little more of our, our space here. This guy anchored while we were gone today a little close to us but hey you know we'll watch it through the night. And this is our little anchorage here. Opua Bay of Island. And it's, it's just pretty, I really like this view here. And frequently you'll see the rolling grassy hills and it's so strange to start to see the western uh, homes again. And it's just really, really pretty. It's, uh, there's a car ferry here that uh, they even sell postcards with these guys all loaded up and going across the channel. So, and he just scoots over and this direction and over here back to Opua. Taking a drive. Wow, coming into Opua. This is a successful day. A very successful day. We scored big. No, here's all the ladies. Yay! Shop till you drop. Shop till you drop. We we clean out the stores. Oh, my stuff. Stashing all the Christmas right, all her stuff. Christmas. <laughs> well, here we are, December 15, and Ilaka is coming out of the harbor. Da, 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 da. Huh? Fast. Good, yeah. The rigging looks good. Really cheap. Yeah, the facility looks great. The haul out is like a hundred bucks in and out, U.S. Yeah. Where are you guys going? That's Ilaka. Adios. And here we are, uh, Chris from Desiderata and Moonflight Gang doing a hike. You can hear the crickets. Wild. 
little bit of a glimpse of the boats. And we're just starting about a, I don't know, three kilometer hike. Listen to the crickets. That's pretty. Oh, looks like somebody came in to see you, but...